In the spring of 1606, Reverend Richard Hacklock's heart raced as he waited to address one of the most powerful men on earth, King James I of England. Hacklock had long dreamed of bringing the gospel to the new world. Years of praying, preaching, working, and writing had finally brought him to this defining moment. Hacklock had studied the journeys of great seafarers and compiled maps of the new world. His heart was drawn to the territory known as Virginia. As quoted in Hacklock's diary, he told the king, and I quote, planting English colonies in America would be a most godly and Christian work that would lead to gaining the souls of millions of natives, bringing them from darkness to light. This outpost for the gospel in the new world now hung on the decision of King James. Hacklock's vision, commitment, and holy purpose stirred the king's passion and led him to a sense of divine mission. Richard Hacklock and the Virginia Company received their royal charter and with it the king's command to settle this virgin land for God, the king, and for England.